Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee North. Yeah, back again. You know I'm gonna keep coming back. So today's video is about something real simple. You know, um, this cooking video is it's something back from my past. Um, Mister went out and picked some tomatoes. Now, he's not from the country, but he loves tomatoes. And it's the only thing that he grows. Yeah. Every year, he puts out tomato plants. And when he does that, we end up with a lot of tomatoes. He used to put out three or four plants. Then he'd dwindle down to a couple of plants. Now he just gets one plant. And still, we have abundance of tomatoes. Yeah. So, we have a lot of tomatoes. So, <clears throat> he said, give some of those tomatoes away because they're going to go bad. And he pulls them every day. And so, I said, wow. I'm going to fix something with these tomatoes. And I was backing out my driveway and got up the street. Hold on. Sorry about that. You know, that phone always rings when I start a video. Well, as I was saying, got to do something with these tomatoes. So, my neighbor stopped me out there. And I got up the street a little ways and said, hey, I got something for you. Some corn here grows. I said, wow, he has a garden out there. So, Mr. with the tomatoes, my neighbor with the corn. I said, wow, sounds like something good coming up. And I happened to have some squash and zucchini in the refrigerator. And I had a cabbage in the bottom drawer that I bought and forgot with all the running around with the wedding. I forgot to cook. So I said, wow. Hmm. And I had my grandboys when they were throwing these. So I said, hmm. That's all. That sounds like something good. It made me think about something when I was a kid. A lot of things make me think of stuff when I was a kid. Um, on Saturdays, um, back before the Walmart days, um, we used to have neighborhood stores, you know, grocery stores. And um, they had produce. And on Saturdays, people would go to town and, yeah, go to town and get their produce up and whatever they were going to cook for Sunday. Because, like I said, they would start on Saturdays. And if you lived in the city and not on a farm, and really, that's where you go. You go to the neighborhood store, grocery, and you get your produce up, your greens or your green beans or whatever you're going to cook. And, um, or the vegetable truck would come by. Now, if you lived in the South, the vegetable truck would come through. And there would be someone who had a farm and he put his goods on a truck and he'd drive through neighborhoods and he yell out the truck what he had. I got your greens, got your corn, got your this, yeah, got your that. And all the ladies would come out their house with their little corn purse and go up to the truck and wasn't no plastic bags, paper sacks. Yeah. All the ladies would come out with whatever they had, a little basket or whatever, because they know they were going to get something off the truck. Truck didn't have a certain day. Uh-uh. 
just whenever he got his stuff in, he come through. And, um, yeah. You get a whole lot. You used to get, let me get, um, 50 cents worth of those string beans. You get a lot. Now, don't seem like much now. But then, oh man, you used to get a lot for that. Give me a couple of pounds of those tomatoes. 50 cents, you probably get four or five of these tomatoes. And we would wash them, eat them like apples, put a little salt on it. Oh my goodness. They smell different than the store bought. Most of those store bought, they're growing in hot houses. Yeah. But one right off the vine, oh my goodness. It's a difference. Yeah, it's a difference. The biggest part of your meal was the vegetables. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid, fried chicken, oh my God. Meatloaf. These were something special. Yeah. Because we didn't eat it all the time. These were Sunday meals. Or roast. These were Sunday meals. Yeah. But the star, it was the vegetables. I had an aunt. She didn't say vegetables. Because she was living in the country. And she said vegetables. Yeah. And if they were cooked right, yeah. Put some hot water cornbread with it. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> you talking about some good eating. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to put no meat with it. It's going to be a vegetable plate. I'm going to do some squash and zucchini. Some of this sweet corn. I think you call it peaches and cream or something like that. Oh, man, that's going to be good. Slice some of these tomatoes with it. Cook that cabbage. Cut up these. Make some butter potatoes. And make some of that crispy hot water cornbread. Oh my goodness. If this don't take you back, oh, make you think you was back in the South. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm sure they was eating it up North too. Yeah. A lot of people, they live up North. A lot of them started down South. Mm -hmm. They took them same rituals up there. Yeah. 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 A lot of people was born up there, but their family roots, a lot of them started in the South. Mm-hmm. They didn't start in the South. Somebody in your family lived here or you visit here. Mm-hmm. And the South is everywhere, all down through here. Mm-hmm. Go all the way out north. I mean, not north, I'm pointing west. Yeah, because my family, they've been to way out in California. Mm -hmm. And they stretched all the way across. Yeah. I got a nephew in uh, Dallas. He calls, I send him recipes, and me and him talk over the phone, and I tell him how to make something. Yeah. That's how stuff travels. Yeah. Now yeah, they make it real easy. Uh, YouTube, uh, video chat, um, FaceTime. Yeah. You could be in Alaska and get a southern dish. Mm hmm.
but you ain't got to be in the South to get some good Southern food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what this video is about. The vegetables. Yeah. Hold on. I'm finna make you hungry. And if you don't like vegetables, you might not want to watch this one. Mm, but if you do, be prepared to close your eyes. Because it's going to be a good tracing one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm shucking this corn. I've already shucked some. I mean, I'm trying to save some time. I know y'all don't want to see me shuck this corn. But I got this little gadget. You know, Tennessee North loves a gadget. And I wanted to try it out on this corn. And this corn, wait a minute, this looks like some pretty good corn. It's supposed to get the hair off. We're going to see if it really works like it's supposed to. And I said this is some pretty corn with some pretty corn. I'm going to try to take the majority off. But it is some good corn. It's the only thing about shucking corn is all this little hair. So I don't know if I told you. I might have showed it to you. But while I was in South Carolina... In one of those stores, I found this brush. It's supposed to take the hairs off the corn. So we're going to see what it do. My neighbor has a, a pretty good thumb for growing stuff because it looks good. I think he also grows tomatoes as well. The only thing Mr. and and I tried to grow, we, we grew some tomatoes one, one summer and some uh, cantaloupes. They did okay. I ain't gonna lie. When the watermelons came up, we thought they gave us the wrong thing because they looked like cucumbers at first. And I was about to go back to Lowe's and cut up because I'm said, Mister said, I I don't think these are Wallville. So gave it a few days and yeah, they turned out to be Wallville. Good thing I waited, it saved me the embarrassment. <clears throat> We're not farmers. Mm -mm. Yeah. If you don't know, yeah. The watermelon, they start out looking like cucumbers when they first start growing. I'm going to take this up and let y'all see what I'm talking about, how pretty this coin is. Now, the majority of it does come off, but I'm telling you, it has a lot of juice in it, it looks like. And this corn is yellow and white specks. You can see it. See how pretty that is? Yeah. I think he said it's peaches and creams. Yeah. So, hold on. Okay. So it has real small bristles. You can see. 
So the object of this is to run down the corn and it's supposed to help remove the hair. It looks pretty good. Now, I don't know if they just pushed it in there or did it actually take it off. Here's another one. You can kind of see the hair is all over it. Let's see. Oh, it's coming off. Hmm. Let's do one more. It's all over my shirt. I think it works. Hmm. It works. Yeah. Get you one. Never, never get it. So the object of this is you're supposed to put the, you're supposed to put it on top of the corn, push down on it, and it's supposed to take the corn off the Oh. Yeah. And if it don't, I got the knife. Yeah. Let me get the corn washed up and I'll be back. Okay. Before I go wash this, I figured this out with the brush. You go like this. And it comes off. Yeah. I got a table full. So apparently, that's how it works. Do that.
I think I paid less than three dollars for it. It works. Yeah. It works. Okay. Now we're going to cut up our squash and our zucchini. So I'm going to take off some of the peelings off the squash. Not much, just some. Because I like the yellow on my squash. I'll just take off some. cooked squash before so I'm going to cut it up and I'm, I boil my squash first then I fry it everybody's different but I I boil mine first and when it's big like this I slice mine a little cut it down a little bit I don't slice it too thin, but I don't make it too thick either. I like that. And I'm going to put a little salt in the water. And I'll cut the zucchini the same way. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to put onions in it, but I'm not going to boil the onions. I want the full flavor of the onions. Pretty sure this is on another one of my videos. And this is a vegetable. Didn't like as a child. Love it as an adult. Squash is just like fried potatoes. If you don't have no onions, mm -mm. don't mess with it. Yeah. Mm -mm. This one doesn't look too bad. If it has a bad spot on it, that's what I take off. But I like <clears throat> excuse me, I like my squash to be yellow. This is a pretty good look one. <clears throat> Some of them don't always look good on the outside. Then 
It don't have anything wrong with the inside, but the outside doesn't look good. And I don't know about you, but I eat by appearances. Might have got beat up during the process of transporting. And since nobody eats uh, vegetables but me and Mister, I probably end up freezing the corn and uh, because for corn freezes well. If you have a vacuum seal, that will be good. But you can put it in a freezer bag; it freezes well. Zucchini, gonna do it the same way. Doesn't look good. I cut it off. I don't like the way this one looks. In the middle part, I cut it off. When you cook them together, they're real pretty. They taste good together, too. Let me get this all chopped up and I'll be back. Okay, here's our squash and zucchini. I'm going to add some water to it. And um, put a little salt in it. And I'm going to put it on the idle bowl. Hold on. Okay, now we're going to cut up this cabbage. I usually get the smallest cabbage I can find. Don't nobody eat but me and me and the missing. Yep. I only have one child that likes um, cabbage and she don't live at home anymore. So I usually cut my cabbage in fours and quarters. And cut the heart out. Okay, 
comes out real easily. <coughs> Yeah. Then I just dice it up. Not dice it, but slice it up. I don't have a certain way. And it doesn't matter how wide or how big because it's going to cook down anyway. And everybody don't cook their cabbage the same way. I like mine. Well done. Yeah. That's just the way I like it. And I cook mine with, um, in butter. Some people cook theirs with meat. Tennessee North can't take the grease. It does something to me. Something about cabbage and oil. Uh, no. Makes me. It does something to me. So, I cook mine in butter, and I put a piece of green pepper in it for flavor, season it up, yeah, trust me, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to cut it down just like that, no certain way. And I'm going to wash it, always wash your cabbage. We don't know what's in them leaves between them folk. Mm -mm. Always wash it. That's just the way I do it. If you don't want to wash yours, that, that's on you. I always wash my cabbage because we don't know what's... You know, cabbage got a lot of folds. I, me, I wash it. Same way with lettuce. Wash it. You see all those layers? Yeah. I usually put mine in the sink. <clears throat> Run water all through it. Pull it through, um, pull it in a colander. Let the water run out of it. Get the water boiling. Put some butter in. Put it in. Yeah, that's the way I do mine. Okay. Got my cabbage all cut up. Don't take long. Cabbage doesn't take long. And you don't need a lot of water because cabbage makes its own water. Okay? Hold on. Let me get this on. Put it in the sink and wash it. Hold on. Okay, and here we got our water on the boil. We're going to put... A stick of butter. Some salt. Some crushed red pepper. Now this is optional. You don't like pepper? Do not put it in there. Garlic powder. Sylvia season salt, you know, Old Faithful. Black pepper. And we're gonna let that come to a boil before we add our cabbage. 
Hold on. Okay. We got a new gadget. It shucks the corn. I see. Did you see that? I'll show you again. Oh my God. It works. Now, you know, Tennessee North tells you, go twice. Don't take it all off the first time because you're going to get a tough corn. This did it twice. First time. Second time. Y'all better get one of these. Oh my goodness. Even do it a third time. They're not going in the drawer. Oh my goodness. Two gadgets in a row. Where has this been? Who came up with this? Do y'all see the coin falling off of this thing here? That knife just went into retirement. Oh my lord. Oh my word. Hmm. Do y'all see that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's your coin. Oh my goodness. In minutes. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. I done literally died and gone to heaven. found this. I might have found it at Walmart. Oh 
I'm going back and get another one. Oh my goodness. Do y'all see that? Oh my goodness. This is a friend. This is literally a friend. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Do you see got everything out of that? Where has it been all my life? Hold on, let me go put my cabbage in this water. Oh. <clears throat> Hold on. This thing. This wonderful thing here. It's It's just taking it off like it's nothing. Look at the corn. You could shuck corn all day with this thing here. I want to think I got it at Walmart. It literally just snatches it off, just comes off like butter. The little brush takes the hairs off. And this, oh my goodness. Two winners. Two winners, I tell you. Both gadgets. Oh my goodness. You're going to have to get you one. Came with a little guard on it. Came with a little guard on it. I want to think I got it at Walmart. I don't know where I got it at. I might have got it at the same place I got the little brush at. I think it's where I got it at. I got it somewhere. I'm going to check Walmart. I'm going to let y'all know where it came from. Oh my goodness. Let me get these finished shucking. I mean, I'm nervous. It's too good. Hold on. I just got to let y'all see how this stuff comes off so easily. You see that? That's the second run on it.
hiding. Like a child with a toy here. Are you kidding me? You call that milking? Get all of it out. Isn't that crazy? All of that, 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. I'm add a little pinch of sugar to my cabbage. I'm gonna turn my cabbage off, my cabbage is done. And I also added some green pepper. A few slices of green pepper to the cabbage. My cabbage is done. Turn this off. Now let's go work on my corn. Hold on. Okay, while I'm getting my corn together, in the skillet, I'm letting a stick of butter for the corn. And because I don't have any bacon, my bacon is frozen, I'm going to add just a little fried meat grease, which is like something that you cook your, fried some chicken in it, or, you know, something you use, use oil, just a little bit, so your butter don't burn. Okay, while that's heating up, I got it on real low, we're going to start mixing that corn. Hold on. Okay. To my bowl here, I'm going to add, this is my corn, I'm going to add a little salt, and once it starts cooking, you might need to add some more seasoning, but this is what I start with, and I don't measure, you know, I just work with it, I'm adding a little flour. A little garlic powder. Sylvia. You know, I always know it's Sylvia by the purple top here. Some black pepper.
and some sugar. You don't add a lot of sugar because you don't want it to burn. You adjust the sugar as you go. <clears throat> in that border, I'm gonna chop some onion. You know I'm gonna put some onion in this. Yeah. And, and because it's only just me and the mister, I'm gonna freeze part of that corn. I got two packs I'm going to put in the freezer. You don't need cooking all the corn. Just the two of us. Yeah. So. Okay. Now, to this corn here, I'm going to mix all this up right here. This right here, this is enough for us. And I'm going to add a little water. Now you can add milk if you like. But I prefer water. And this corn is real sweet. I tasted it when I was taking it off the cob. Mm. Yeah. It's tasting pretty good. I'm add a little more water. Just a little flour, just a little more. I'm the dishwasher. I can get another spoon. Just a little more, just a <clears throat> little more sugar, just a little bit. Waiting on that butter to heat up. I'm gonna put this in the in the skillet. Hold on. I'm gonna go to the oven. This, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna go to the stove. Okay. I got my skillet on for my corn. This is for my squash. I'm going to add some onions in here for the squash. I got my squash over here draining. I like a lot of onions in my squash. As well as my corn. Wash in. Yes, 
category is my phone. Now the corn, I don't want to cook fast, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I'm going to put a little more liquid in my corn. You don't want your corn to cook fast. You want those kernels to get soft. And if you prefer cooking yours with um, milk, you can. I prefer mine with water. Put some black pepper on my squash. Corn, you want to stir it a lot because you don't want it to stick. Hold on. Squash, I'm gonna add a little garlic powder. Now, if your corn seems to be getting thicker before you really want it to. Add a little more liquid. In my oven, my stove will cook fast, so I have to cook, keep mine down low, low. Now this is where you taste to see if you need anything else. Mm-mm. Don't need anything. Got the right seasoning, right amount of sugar, everything. I'm adding just a little liquid to it. Me. I didn't use my hand, I used the back of my arm, but I'm still washing my hands. You want to stir your squash as well. Because your squash is really done. You want to put down your onions, get that onion flavor in it. 
I got my potatoes on the back here boiling. Taste my squash, see if it needs anything. Sylvia. You can smell these onions cooking out of there. Corn doesn't take long, but you want it to be tender. Or you want to cook it slow and low. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. My corn is done. I've turned it off. I'm going to add a pinch of sugar to my squash. It's done. I know you said I had sugar to everything. my way. The way I grew up, my mom's way. Put it that way. Pinch of sugar brings out the flavor. Helps balance the salt, she says. Okay. So let's get some bread made, some cornbread made. I'll be back. Let me take my cornbread up. Look, look at that. Yeah. You know how we do crunchy? Mm-hmm. I'm going to put a few more down. Got my potatoes over there. Okay, hold on. Going to put some butter, salt, and pepper. We need potatoes here. Ooh, this vegetable thing is about to wind up here. Got my last pieces of cornbread up. I'm going to put some blue bonnet on it. Just putting some butter and some salt and pepper on them. That's all we're going to do to these. These potatoes are hot. I just drained them. All right. Let me slice some tomatoes. Get a plate set. And I'll be back. Okay. Ready for the finished product? Let me move some stuff out of the way. I'm going to give you a close-up. Yeah. Hot water cornbread. Cabbage. Homegrown tomatoes. Corn. Squash and zucchini. Butter potatoes. Yeah. Coke on the side. <clears throat> I 
Have a look. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely have to speak to the Lord. Amen. Amen. You ain't had one of these all day. I'm gonna put some vinegar on my cabbage. There's a little bit on the tomato. Yeah, that's how I like it. <clears throat> Let's see what this fresh corn tastes like. Okay, baby boy didn't want to be in the, in the picture. Back to this corn. Stand up. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. See if this squash and zucchini taste like. Mm, mm. Taste all them onions. Mm, mm, mm. Miss this tomato. Mm. 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 You hear that crunch? Mm. We're gonna leave this cabbage out. Taste that bell pepper now. Where are my manners? In my office, so. That's them cabbage. I know you can hear his crunching. Mm. 
Mr. Tomato. This mm. 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 corn. Oh, my God. Mm. Who needs some meat? Mm. Mm. I tell you. And a good strong coke. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you look at this again. Oh. Mm. You see, I went and got a good plate. And got a, a placemat. It was fitting. You don't put this kind of meal just on anything. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This ain't one of them any kind of meals. Mm. This is fit for a queen. Mm -mm. Don't need no meat. It's got all the right components, you know? And a piece of hot water cornbread. It's that crunch for me. Mm. I got a good man to go neck on the door next door and slap him for this coin. Mm. That corn is so nip. Mm. That corn is simply delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. Squash and zucchini. Onion. Julie. In Chicago, you don't know what you're missing. Cook them onions down when they're real soft, where you can't hear no crunching. Try that. That's my buddy. She know who I'm talking about. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. The only thing I didn't put no onions in was the potato, tomato, and the bread.
No, I didn't put nothing in the cabbage. I just put green pepper in it. But the green pepper is damn well. You can't hear no crunch either. Mm, you cooked that. Mm, mm, mm. 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 These buttered potatoes. Oh my goodness. That black pepper on it. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> this plate right here mm. is a show enough have mercy. Mm -hmm. This is a to be continued plate. Mm -hmm. I'll wrap this up and uh, it'll be breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still crunching cornbread. Mm. Man, man. I tell you. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. I'm full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap that up. Yeah. Ooh, I hate it anymore. I won't be able to sleep. But you know when you cook something and season good, the next day, even better. Mm -hmm. The cornbread, I usually don't eat leftover cornbread. I usually make fresh. I'm gonna throw that in the air fryer. The air fryer bring it back crunchy. Scale to one to ten. We talking about a fifteen. Produce that on myself. Wasn't nothing I did to it, but just the corn itself is good. The squash and zucchini is good. Maybe because I like these things. Love cabbage. Butter potatoes. These are my favorites. And we all know I like a good Coke. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Vegetable plate. It's about them vegetables. Hmm. Now, you say if you cook them, overcook them, you cook all the vegetables, the, the vitamins out of them. I'm going to have to cook the vitamins out of mine because that's the way I like mine. Mm -hmm. I like them well done. I don't like mine crunchy. My green beans, mm -mm, I don't like them crunchy. Mm -mm. I like all my vegetables <clears throat> well done.
and uh, I don't see myself changing. Mm -mm. That tomato tastes like getting it off the truck when I was a kid. Mm hmm. I can hear him now. Got your tomatoes. Got your potatoes. Got your greens. Yeah. I wish I could remember his name. There's a couple of them used to come through. Mm-hmm. There's another truck that used to come through. Uh, the Charlie Chip Man. That's what we used to call him as a kid. Used to bring the chocolate chip cookies in the canyon. And the um, um, potato chips. Used to come in a brown canyon. I know somebody else remember that. <clears throat> Where they used to deliver. They used to deliver. And what you do is you would turn in your old can. If you wanted chocolate chip, if you had chocolate chip, you turn that can in and get another can. Mm hmm. Yeah. Used to be a lot of door to door salesmen. Uh, there was one called the LB Price Man. And he sold everything. Pots, pans, bedspreads, all kind of household goods. Everybody in the neighborhood had a bill with him. Yeah. So I'll come to you. Is that before internet, he had all the stuff in his car. He didn't have a truck, he had a car. Raise the trunk up, take your order. Mm -hmm. He even sold wigs. You name it, he had it. If he didn't have it, he can get it. Yeah. Funny how you remember a lot of stuff when you uh, when you get old. Except you ain't thought about it in years. Yeah. So I'm gonna end this video and this one. Was about the vegetables. Yeah. See you on the next video. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Tell someone about old Tennessee North. Until the next video. Hit that notification button. So you'll know when I come back. And you know I'm coming back. Bye now.